It's Day Day here with another gameplay. Today we're going to be breaking down my solo duos game. And if you want to learn how to drop some kills in the double digits, or just how to play solo duos in general and make moves like this, make sure you stay tuned. Drop into lumber, playing some solo duos, get two quick kills right quick. There's not much to talk about here other than the fact that he just runs in and gets gunned down. And then the next one, I kind of make a fool of myself. I'm going to go over here and try and mount this and, and fail at it miserably. So we're not going to judge me too much on that one. Um, listen for guys that are possibly around me. Obviously, we're playing solo, I mean, playing duos. So I kill that guy. I'm trying to listen for his teammate. I just landed, so he can't be that far. Pops a most wanted and runs to where his teammate died. That's a no-go. You don't want to do that. If you get a most wanted, get the heck out of Dodge. All right, still had the satellites in the game. I think they've been taken out and put back in now. I'm not quite too sure, but I do know that I get my loadout out of the satellite. This guy is confused, lost in the sauce, must just come back from the gulag trying to find me, and he did, just not the way that he wanted. Now, we move on to more gunfights. I knew that there was two people up here before, because I had a UAV that died out on the way up. This guy quickly goes down. One, two, three, right? What do I want to do? I want to push him, but the other guy is right behind him. So now I'm going to find myself behind cover. I got no plates. I got to use a heady. That's what I recommend you do. Pop that heady up. One thing I would recommend for this guy is make sure that you're crouching and popping in and out to reduce your recoil. I got high ground and I got a heady. Think the fight for you. So, then a nasty he right gets now. dropped. Pushing forward, we're going to talk about looting, right? So, I have my loadout. All I'm looking for are plates, preferably a satchel. I'm looking for a daddy, gas mask. Anything else, I don't want it. Oh, and money, right? I don't see it, I don't need it. So, I'm not sitting there looking at a bunch of loot. So, that's my tip to you. Don't spend a lot of time looking at loot. I see a lot of people doing this. Don't do that. Don't be looking for loot. All right? Once you get your load out, that's how to push those kills. That's how we get better. And if they had a kill streak in there. that's that's I'll add that caveat in there as well. Loadout's going to be coming in in a couple of seconds. So I got my Bertha here, my favorite vehicle. It's kind of hard to take this thing down. When playing solos, whether it's regular, duos, trios, or quads, want we'll to make sure you're utilizing vehicle. Can't say that enough. Notice where I parked my vehicle, right? I got it parked directly behind me to provide cover. I've got the loadout in front of me to provide cover. I got cover all around. That's what matters. One more thing on loadouts. Turn to a direction where there's not a bunch of crap or loot, sorry. So this way you can easily find your stuff. So he should have easily seen that I had a trophy system, but he didn't. He throws a C4, it doesn't really matter. What else he should have done was have the door open so he could utilize that entire building as cover. But again, he didn't do that. He's standing on the open and gets mauled over. His teammate immediately wants to go for the res. That's going to cost him. Like I said before in my other videos, when someone goes down in your team and the threat is already still there, chances are you don't have the ability to res them. So that's my theory is that he was pushing to go res him. We're about to find out why that's going to cost him. So I chunk a C4, get some plates knocked off, check to make sure it's clear. His teammate slides back in. That lets me know where his teammate was sliding to. Let's me know that his that his teammate's about to about to peak that area. So I quickly get the kill. Notice while I'm plating up that I'm constantly peeking, trying to find him. Last thing I want to do is just plate up behind cover and not know where the enemy's going. Now I hear him running through the building. He comes out. And he throws a knife at me. Not a bad play, but he left the uh, his gun out. He was just running with fists while throwing a knife. So don't don't do that again. Um, when I'm going through the loot, I'm just quickly going through it. However, I just now realized that I didn't even notice the satchel there. Right? That's how fast I'm going through it. If it doesn't stand out that much, uh, I'm not grabbing it. I hear an enemy dropping in the AO. I immediately pull up my heartbeat sensor. And I'm thinking about getting rid of this again, going back to um, stuns, but I quickly go back to him, and he's immediately killed. Nothing really to talk about there. He didn't have anything, uh, so it was kind of hard. Notice, 18 grand. What do we do with 18 grand? 
we need to go buy UAV. So that's what my thought process is right here. We're going to push on over, try to get over this fence. Can't figure it out for the life of me. And we're going to go buy UAV. Uh, I need to get to, I don't have to get a self res. I already got one. The jailbreak makes my day in this game because that means more kills from me. Now, we don't drop a super heavy duty uh, banger in this one. And, and I think that's a great thing because when someone sees like 30 or 20 plus kills or whatever the case may be when it's a higher number, they're like, man, you, I, I can't do that. Listen, all of my viewers, and I've played with a couple subscribers at this point, you guys are all really good, all right? So you definitely can. For you to drop those bigger kill games, obviously you got to be in more of a bot lobby. But this was actually a diamond lobby, and I dropped double digits. So again, it's not the greatest, but there's a lot we can learn from it. All right, so that truck was going past us. I assumed he was trying to go to the buy station. Oh, perfect example right here. We're going to pause it, right, so I can zoom in on it. Where's the arrow on the enemy that's in my minimap? It's pointing up, right? That means he's hanging in the air. Let's get him. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to look up into the building just in case his friend's ghosted. Seeing what that truck's doing. I see the teammate on, get on the back. And I'm using a C-58. And look how this thing just destroys. If you're not using a C-58, you're wrong. All right. Again, notice the arrows. They're pointing down. Uh, where the one off to the, in the furthest distance is. The one behind me is pointing up. And then the other guy, there's no arrow. What does that mean? Same elevation. I already saw him. But in case I didn't see him, that tells me everything I needed to know. Pointing chest up, shooting the C-58. You're not beating it all day for chest and above. All right. Pop a reload. Seeing where this card's going. That's super important. Again, situational awareness. I can't stress it enough. I wanted to know where that car was going to be going. I know that his teammate's going to be pushing up. And what is this guy doing? He's crouch walking in the open. Don't do that. As you can see, he's not going to have the ability to get away. Also, it's easier to hit the head from me if you're crouch walking. All right. So as I was pulling up to this spot, I knew that there was, a two, there was two teams here. They were in an engagement. So one was engaging inside. And as I was dumping the truck, I saw the other teammate outside. So that's something to know going into it. Um, so I go up here. I've got my dead silence popped. He doesn't even know that I'm coming. Unfortunately, I think they're going to be taking that dead silence, which is one of my favorite things. So, I mean, it's a, it's a pro and it's a con. Going back to the game, though, as soon as I kill him, I pop my reload while I'm listening to what's going on. I can hear the teammate directly underneath me. Wait till he's underneath me completely. Just drop on him and get it to kill. As you can see, the biggest thing that I'm doing here, actually, I'll keep that going, keep it rolling. The biggest thing I'm doing here is I'm separating the teams, right? When you're playing solos, uh, like low man quad or solo trio, solo quad, solo dudes, whatever the case may be, or you even playing regular, right? You've got teammates, but you find yourself by yourself because they're all dead or whatever, and you have to engage into an enemy. The best thing and the only thing that you can do to succeed is to separate the team. If you're playing and the, and the whole team is stacked up against you, excuse me, then you're going to lose that. I don't care how good you are, unless they're, like, really bad playing with their toes, all right? Not many people playing with their toes these days. But average person, if they're standing side by side with their teammate or teammates, they're going to they're gonna wipe you, right? So you want to make sure you're splitting them up. And sometimes you got to get creative. And that's what we do on this channel. We give you the solutions to the problems. And this next play is the perfect example of how we do that. So I roll up, again, using the truck to my cover. I'm going to pop a UAV. Oh, notice they're right there. One's inside the building, one's outside the building. What are we going to do with that? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's continue. All right, I'm going to back the truck up. I see the first enemy is right there. All right, easy day. He's going to chase me. The second enemy is inside the building. Hugging a corner. Now, I don't know if he's watching TV, watching a movie. I don't know what he was doing, but I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump out of this truck while it's slowly backing up. So this way it forces him to either go out the backside of the building, long ways around, or have to run all the way up to the front 
to help his teammate if he wants to help immediately or wait until the truck rolls. What's he going to do? So we jump out. See, the truck was still rolling. I bunny hop to the side. It almost gets me, but me bee hopping, I'm able to throw that guy off a lot. So, notice I needed to reload. I know his teammate's in there. I immediately just switch weapons, right? I'm taking the fight to him. I slide cancel around the corner. And what do I see? His teammate is now finally pushing forward, right? So I can either try to take this engagement or I can try and get out of there and make a different move. What I'm going to do is while I'm still sliding, I'm going to turn and dip out of there. As soon as I get to the end of the truck, I turn left and I jump to the right to break his camera. And as you can see, he's looking to the left. Peeker's advantage exists even when you're not peeking. Right? It's taking a second for his game to register what I did. Slide cancel, separation, get the kill, easy day. That guy was completely lost, didn't know what was going on. His move should have been, as soon as that truck rolled, to push out. That truck had finished rolling past that door that I left it at before the engagement was ever over with, but he was just too scared. Sometimes you just got to get aggressive. Unfortunately, that is going to be my last kill for the game. I dropped 15. Listen, we are killing it. All right, let's roll the outro. Yo, 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 I hope you enjoyed the video. Let's break down the class that I was using. So for my C58, I'm using the suppressor. This is an updated one too. This is the most up-to-date. It's level 40 right now. I'm using a suppressor, 18.2 inch tag, takedown barrel, four grip, jungle style mag, and a three times axle arm scope. I ask you please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already hitting the notification bell. We are so close to hitting a thousand subscribers. This community is growing so fast. I've got the greatest supporters, the greatest, I guess it's a family. Right? It's not even supporters, it's a community, it's a family. And I love you guys very much. I can't thank you enough. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to click the video above. Peace and love.